Joe Biden's alarming last warning for Shiba Inu coin holders. If you hold Shib, watch this now. Shiba Inu might crash really hard soon, and if that happens, it would be no thanks to the Joe Biden administration. The Joe Biden-led administration made some announcements that might change the world of crypto and Shiba Inu. So today we're going to talk all about what Joe Biden just revealed about crypto and Shiba Inu coin. So watch this video till the end, because today's video is going to be the bomb. Welcome to Shiba Inu Coin, your daily dose of Shiba. If you're interested in everything around Shiba, this is the place for you. Subscribe if you want to stay updated with all the Shiba news, predictions, and stay one step ahead in the crypto world. Make sure to hit the like button for us to provide you with more Shiba news. Don't forget to enable all notifications to join our weekly cash giveaway pinned in the comments. Before we get to our topic, let's take a look at the chart and see what the price of Shiba is doing on the 17th of December, shall we? Shiba Inu price has witnessed a tight consolidation around a vital support level for roughly a week and a half. This consolidation is in the final stages and might provide a bottom reversal pattern, triggering a small bull rally. Shiba Inu price prepares for its launch. Shiba Inu price has been retesting the 330 10 millionths of a dollar support level for roughly 11 days and has recently set up a small range below it. Monday's low at 315 10 millionths of a dollar could be a base for Shiba to form a potential triple bottom setup. For now, Shiba Inu price needs another tap around Monday's swing low to complete this technical formation. So investors need to wait for a retest of 330 10 millionths of a dollar or Monday's swing low at 315 10 millionths of a dollar. A retest of either of these levels will allow Sheeb to kickstart an ascent to 380 10 millionths of a dollar and the buy stop liquidity resting above it. While there may be a minor retracement around this level, BTC will determine the next course of action for Shiba Inu price. If the big crypto continues to head higher, altcoins, including Sheeb, will follow suit. In which case, Sheeb needs to flip the 380 10 millionths of a dollar hurdle into a support floor. This development will allow the meme coin to extend its rally to 411 10 millionths of a dollar or 442 10 millionths of a dollar. If Sheeb sets up a swing high around 442 10 millionths of a dollar, it will constitute a 33% gain from the 330 10 millionths of a dollar support floor. Now let's get back to the topic. As we mentioned earlier, the Joe Biden administration recently made an announcement that might impact crypto all over the world. But before we go into discussing that, let's look at the crypto scene in the United States. While the US is unarguably the world's top economy, it looks like it has been shy about adopting cryptocurrency, unlike other countries. People definitely still trade in crypto, you're probably even one of them, but crypto is yet to be adopted into the country's mainstream economy. And while a number of countries have been courting the idea of their own CBDC, it looks like the US has chosen to remain silent on that issue for now. However, just last month, the first Bitcoin futures ETF was launched in the US, and that is, without a doubt, a big deal for Bitcoin and crypto in general. Why? Well, it tells us that the US isn't completely averse to crypto after all. Now, you probably already know what futures ETFs are, but for those who don't know, here's a quick rundown. So, futures exchange traded funds, ETFs, are basically a financial product that allows investors to invest in Bitcoin futures contracts with the agreement that it would be bought or sold at a later agreed upon time and price. An investment in a futures ETF is not exactly an investment in a cryptocurrency, but an investment in a contract. It basically allows investors to trade digitally through regular investment accounts, effectively bypassing the security concerns that sometimes plague crypto. So why then did I say that the launch is a big deal for crypto? Well, as I mentioned before, if the US government is opening the doors to digital currencies that bear close resemblance with crypto, it could mean that the US government is not exactly averse to crypto which could mean that a full-on authentication might be a possibility that we can confidently look forward to. This is probably the reason why, when the futures ETF was launched, Bitcoin saw a significant rise in value. The US might still be shy about adopting crypto, but a good number of other countries certainly aren't, with the most recent country being Singapore. Earlier in the day, the head of Singapore's central bank, Ravi Menon, announced that the Monetary Authority of Singapore is setting the scene in putting regulations in place to welcome crypto firms to operate in the country. He mentioned that we think the best approach is not to clamp down or ban these things. With crypto-based activities, it's basically an investment in a prospective future, the shape of which is not clear at this point. But not to get into this game, I think, risks Singapore being left behind. Getting early into the game means that we have a head start, and better understand its potential benefits as well as its risks. So as it stands, firms that can meet the regulations that are being set down can operate in Singapore. Riding on this announcement, the value of crypto is sure to see a significant boost. 
one can only hope that the U.S. government will take that leap from allowing the launch of a Bitcoin futures ETF to allowing for the adoption of crypto into the mainstream economy. Countries like El Salvador already did this with outstanding success. If the U.S. toes the same path, the impact of that singular move will easily trigger the worldwide adoption of the crypto market. That said, it looks like we might have to shelve our crypto ambitions for a while, because this leap might not be happening anytime soon, thanks to the recent announcements by the Biden-led administration. The Biden administration's Working Group on Financial Markets, the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation, and the Office of the Comptroller of Currency released a report which basically urged Congress to impose bank-like rules on stablecoins. The impositions include requiring stablecoin issuers to be FDIC-insured against losses, being restricted in terms of their commercial affiliation with other companies in order to avoid the concentration of wealth and influence, and requiring custodial wallet providers to be subject to federal supervision to allow for proper risk management standards. Now you'll agree with me that one of the most attractive features of cryptocurrency is the fact that it is not regulated by any governing body, even though that could spell volatility for the market. But then we have stablecoins, which are basically the low volatility version of cryptocurrency. Anyway, going back to the announcement, the proposed impositions are definitely going to pose challenges for the business model of stablecoins, especially for stablecoins like Tether that operate really loose business models. Worse yet, they could actually threaten the very existence of some of these stablecoin issuing companies. Remember that the US is practically the largest economy in the world, and while the government hasn't officially adopted digital currencies, a lot of transactions are still carried out in the country. A lot of people would be more willing to invest in stable digital currencies that have the backing of government like the US. The US government isn't shutting down crypto transactions, and the regulations do not mean that the government is not open to the idea of crypto. In fact, on the contrary, it could mean that they're beginning to take an interest and so are putting in these regulations to allow for easy adoption, just like with Singapore. So hold on to your Shiba Inu tokens and buy more if you can, because if cryptocurrencies become mainstream in America, then a bigger boom than Shiba Inu has ever seen in recent times is sure to hit. That's all for today. Also, we would like to mention that this is not a channel intended specifically to provide financial advice, and we do not ask you to invest in any company. This is merely a channel directed towards bringing educational content to your doorsteps. With that in mind, before you invest in anything, we recommend you do thorough, wide-spectrum research on the topic. We hope you like this video. Let us know in the comments below if you're a Shiba holder. And make sure to subscribe and give us a thumbs up. See you next time at Shiba Inucorn. Bye!